Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. There's been a lot of talk about a possible matchup between Brandon Rios and Yorkie Scamboa. Now, I don't care whether they fight at 135 or 140. I believe that Yorkie Scamboa's foot speed and superior balance would be simply too much for Brandon Rios. Rios hits hard, but he's a plotting heavyweight. He likes you right in front of him. Right, What he's trying to do in every fight is to walk you down. There's no mystery to where he's going to be in the ring. He's going to be right in front of you trying to take your head off. Right, And he likes to lean on you when he throws punches. Here's the problem. And keep in mind, I'm a skeptic of both of these fighters. I believe I have a video up right now on YouTube where I say I'm a Yorkie Scamboa skeptic. Here's the problem. Yorkie Scamboa moves much better than people like John Murray, Urbano Antillion, Anthony Peterson. In other words, Rios has been looking good against guys who are right in front of him. What Yorkies Gamboa does is he moves around the ring. He wouldn't be right in front of Brandon Rios. Not only that, both of these fighters are defensively challenged. When Yorkies Gamboa jumps in on an ambush, because Yorkies Gamboa is really an ambush fighter, when Yorkies Gamboa jumps in on an ambush, he should be able to land clean hooks on Brandon Rios, who quite frankly loses his defense as he comes forward, right? And keep in mind, Gamboa isn't just a headhunter. He actually knows how to throw withering body shots, and he fights, quite frankly, at a different speed than Brandon Rios. Let's talk about what Yorkies Gamboa does best. Right? Yorkie Scamboa is gifted in that he's able to get maximum leverage quickly. When he jumps in, he's fast, but when he jumps in and he's throwing hooks, incredibly, he's able to get his full body weight behind his punches in a millisecond. So it doesn't take him long to go from being outside of you to jumping inside with very heavy punches. He fought a guy with an excellent chin, Orlando Salido, and I would encourage people to look at the last two rounds of that fight. It's interesting because Salido, like Brandon Rios, likes to apply pressure and likes to throw hooks. But he was completely outgunned because he was fighting smoke. He was fighting a cloud. As he came forward, Gamboa would back up. Then, of course, when he least expected it, Gamboa would leap in with very hard shots, then would get back out. Now, keep in mind, Gamboa is sloppy. He has been knocked down several times in his career. He has been hurt several times in fights. The way I would play this one is I would take Gamboa to win the fight straddled against Brandon Rios by KO, right? Rios is the bigger man. Rios had to strain to make weight in his last fight. In fact, he lost his title on the scales against Murray, Right? Pay attention to the weight because if they sign to fight at 135, I think Rios is going to be so weight drained, chances of him getting knocked out will increase exponentially. Whenever a fighter has to lose a lot of weight right before a fight, their punch resistance takes a beating. 
And Gamboa, quite frankly, throws too hard for that not to be a factor if Brandon Rios has to lose a lot of weight. I still like Gamboa at 140 as well, simply because I believe there's a speed differential between these two. And I think Gamboa is the more talented fighter, right? But at 140, I'll concede, Rios has a much bigger chance, right? Here's what I don't see happening. I don't see Brandon Rios winning this fight by decision because, quite frankly, Yorkies Gamboa is the better boxer, right? Both of these guys are defensively challenged, but I'm guessing if they were to fight, Rios would be unable to walk down Gamboa and Gamboa would be able to outbox him. In other words, for Rios to get the knockout, it would have to be in a fight where everyone knows the scorecards are already going against him. I think this is a very live fight. I think the public is too focused on the weights of the fighters and are overlooking the fact that Rios would have a very hard time fighting an ambush fighter because the ambush fighter would know exactly where Rios is. Rios wouldn't know where the ambush fighter is. Let me also point out too that Yorkis Gamboa works angles. In other words, he's outside. You don't know which way he's going to jump in. He's not right in front of you. He plays it off where he's off at the side. Brandon Rios doesn't work angles. He's right in front of you. He typically is literally facing his opponent firmly between his opponent's shoulders, right? His game is to basically walk you down, prove he's the tougher man in the ring, throw deceptively strong punches that hit his opponent on the button, right? What his game is not is to hunt down a guy who can fight from distance, jump in periodically, and then get back out, right? And Rios, quite frankly, isn't really gifted, in my opinion, in terms of cutting off the ring and forcing an opponent to fight him. Quite frankly, he's been carefully matched with guys who tend to be right in front of him. You know, if you're fighting Anthony Peterson, if you're fighting Urbano and Tillian, you don't have to look far for these guys, right? These guys are right in front of you. I think when he fights Yorkies Gamboa, if that fight gets made, He'll be exposed a bit because we'll actually see what happens when a fighter who comes forward literally has to find his opponent. And I, I just haven't seen Brandon Rio show a lot of foot speed. He typically comes forward in a shell walking slowly, right? He doesn't look like he'll be able to handle a lot of lateral movement. He doesn't also look like he'll be able to keep his defense consistent as he comes forward. In other words, as he moves, his defense will fall apart. That's when Yorkies Gamboa is going to come in with very well-timed hooks and hand speed that, quite frankly, Brandon Rios can't match. My recommended play here is the underdog. It's Yorkies Gamboa to win the fight straddled against... Rios by KO, let me point out that if the fight is at 135, then I think there is a very good chance that Yorkies Gamboa wins this fight by KO. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online and visit us, of course, at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for watching.